Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Rex Rexford here, and welcome back to another gaming tutorial, and today what we're going to be doing is going over cutscenes in Game Maker. Video cutscenes, I might add, because if you might or may know, uh, a while back in my other previous Game Maker tutorials, I actually did a cutscene already, but it was more of kind of an in-game thing using timelines, which really, I mean, is okay if you want in-game stuff, but for actual video type stuff, which it seems to me is what you guys wanted, since a million people posted they wanted uh, a cutscene tutorial on my video I posted a while back for asking for game maker requests um, you guys really wanted like video stuff at least that's what I thought at least so basically that's what we're gonna be doing today we're basically going to be adding videos in the game maker that will play through and um, yeah so <laughs> let me go ahead and run the game here and show you guys a little example of what I'm talking about so here's the game and we have a little button if I click it here we go, we have a nice little video playing, and it's basically an animation I made a while back. <laughs> okay, we'll hit escape to get out of that, and uh, exit out of this screen just all together. So that is what we're going to be learning today. It's pretty simple, um, so there's not a whole lot to worry about, uh, so yeah. <laughs> so I guess with that said, let's go ahead and just jump right into it. So, uh, usually with a lot of my tutorials, I like to show these sprites off first, but for this tutorial, this sprite's really just more of a detail thing. It's not needed, per se, so I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of disregard it for now. Uh, however, you are going to need an actual object to initiate um, the actual video itself. Now, I'm really quickly, before I get into this, um, let me just go ahead and click on the code here to basically show you guys. Uh, all of this really isn't, well, actually, that's kind of a lie. All of this actually isn't really needed. Um, I just kept it for the clicking purposes. So basically, when I click on the object, it initiates the video. But uh, this little piece of code right here, and I guess kind of right here, well, right there, uh, is basically what the the whole tutorial kind of revolves around, like the whole video system in general. And this function right here, this splash show video, actually isn't available in Game Maker Studio. Which, if you're using that, then I'm sorry. It's basically considered obsolete in that version of GM, so that really sucks. But they have the reasons, I suppose. So if you're using Game Maker Studio, this isn't going to work. And there actually is no way around this, like around actually getting your video in Game Maker Studio, besides converting it to like a GIF file and then opening it up as a sprite. So. I mean, I, I'm really sorry if you're using Gaming Studio, but any version before GM Studio should be able to handle this function, or at least should actually contain and be able to use this function, rather. So, yeah, Gaming Studio users, I'm sorry, but that's just how it is. So anyways, uh, with that depressing tidbit of information out of the way, uh, let's go ahead and continue on with the tutorial, shall we? So essentially what's going on here is um, all of this, as I just mentioned, is basically just for like the clicking on the object in initiation. You can really just replace this with whatever you want. So if you want it to like collide with an object or maybe just start off like with the tutorial or with the video, uh, just, you can just delete it all together. So have something like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, um, what we're going to do is down here in this little piece of information, this piece of code, this splash show video, or splash underscore show underscore video, is keep everything the same. However, in these quotation marks, this is where you're going to type the name of your video file. So, for mine, it's video test dot WMV. Make sure to have the extension down. Um, and I believe for Game Maker, you can have WMV files, AVI files, and there's like one more type of file. I don't know, you guys can look it up, but I know for sure it's WMV and AVI. So mine's WMV, so I just type out dot WMV. All right, so as for the comma dash zero, um, this is basically just true or false. Uh, so right now it's, I just have it on false, which is zero obviously. So this is like if you want your video to loop or not. So when it's done playing, do you want it to play again or you know? <laughs> and when it's done playing, it will basically just go back to the, the screen that it's currently in, just in case you guys are curious. So, yeah. So that's basically how that works. Um, now, the next thing we need to do is go ahead and hit OK. Uh, let me go ahead and minimize this here. Open up this. No. Do, 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 do. There we go. All right. So basically, this here is the actual file. And, um, like, the actual game file. And so, as you can see, I have my little... GMK file, my GB1, as well as my WMV. 
or well the video so whatever video you want to use for your cutscene you have to make sure to actually put it in a file like in a separate file so as you can see right here uh, I have my file name cutscene example I have my game files and then my video so make sure to put your video within the actual file of your game you have to make a separate file and if you do not do that it will not run so that is how that goes and uh, that's pretty much it so hopefully this helps you guys hopefully this uh, fulfills that uh, request that so many of you guys had for cutscenes and um, that's pretty much all I guess so until next time guys till next video feel free to comment and subscribe uh, for future content future videos so whatever you guys want to do or whatever thank you guys want to do <laughs> send that way too fast and uh, until then this has been Rex Furry again and uh, I'll see you guys later <laughs>